oystering is probably the weather. <laughs> it is oyster season, finally, much anticipated. Um, wonderful time of year. So oyster season runs from usually somewhere in the first week of November all the way to possibly April 1st. I guess first we should say, hey, where do I go and when do I go out? So we have oysters at Scudder Lane and Bay Street this year. Um, two very different environments, two very different flavor profiles for oysters. Uh, Scudder tends to be saltier, brinier. Bay Street is a lot sweeter. It's also different techniques if you're new to oystering. But the best time to go out is an hour before low tide. So you check that, leave your house early enough so you can get to the landing an hour before low tide. And that way you can work either side. I say that for all sorts of shell fishing. Dress appropriately. That means usually waders. Sometimes at Scudder you can get away with knee boots. Um, because sometimes the oysters are completely exposed. Um, they're usually planted in the intertidal area, so you could reach them on a really nice low tide. But remember, depending on the wind, the weather, the tide doesn't always go out. So I highly suggest waders. Oysters are very sharp. So you want a pair of gloves, usually a pair of warm gloves because your hands are gonna be freezing. That's what's gonna get cold first. So I definitely recommend those long yellow gloves with some liner gloves inside um, to keep your fingers warm. You do need to measure your oysters. That's when you scoop them up and you take them out to measure, it is not an excuse to have a short oyster because your fingers are cold. <laughs> you should always have a tool with you um, for scooping up those oysters. And it's just our same basket rake that we use for quahogs. So you're ready, you're looking at the ocean, you walk out, you look at Scudder and you say, well, do I go left or do I go right? They're everywhere. They're all over the place. You can go either way. When you show up at Bay Street, everything's down to the right. And we have officers of the landing that will definitely help you out. They'll tell you exactly where to go. And that's, we're here to help you. All right, so you march on down. You're going down, you're gonna find your oysters. And this is the easy part. There they are, just on the ground. They're just sitting there. So oysters are an animal that in the wild, they would fuse to a rock or to a mussel shell and you'd have to break them off. Because of how we grow them, they're just beautiful single oysters and we plant them in the intertidal zone. So this early time of year, you just walk on down there and you pick one up and there you go, you're oystering. That's, it's just that easy. It's a lot easier than cohogging or getting steamers for sure. And at that point, you pick up your oyster and you wanna make sure the full length is three inches. And then oysters are the full length of the gauge. That's the easy part. If the oysters are exposed, then you can just pick them up and put them in your basket if they're the proper size. Sometimes they're not. Let's say it's a bad weather day and you still want it to go out there, you're still hungry. Or you're at Bay Street. It's a different technique. You would have to use your rake to scoop up the oysters. And you're, like I said, you're using it more like you're raking leaves. These oysters are just sitting on top. You don't have to go deep down in the sediment to get them at all. You don't, it's not like you're cold hogging, you have to get up underneath them. You're literally scratching along the surface and then just turning that rake over to get it in your rake. At that point, you just measure them. That's always the first question, what's the limit? We have a basket here and it's one inch above the center ring on here. And if you don't know what an inch is, you can use your gauge, that center hole is one inch wide. You're done, you've gotten your oysters. Um, if they are clumped up, you're gonna fit more in your basket if you break them up. So at that point, you have these oysters in the basket, you exit the water. Now's a good time to recheck your catch. So you wanna make sure everything is three inches, like I said, but also people like to get as many oysters as they can. And the truth is, if you stack your oysters like Tetris, you will get more. Pack them in, clean them off, get the barnacles off, break up your oysters so that they're singles so you can really pack them in nicely and just make sure it's one half pack. So oysters need to be three inches in length. This time of year, you can be very picky about what oysters you want. I want an oyster that has a really nice cup and a nice shape to it. It means that there's depth to that bowl so that you know that it has um, a lot of meat in it and usually a lot of the liqueur. <laughs> um, and that way, uh, a really nice oyster that has a beautiful shape, that classic oyster shape. So I'm also looking for that shell color. When we first plant these oysters on the bottom, they're very pale. They've been living this luxurious life in a tray and they're brittle and they're white. 
what I want to see in the oysters is on bottom, I want them to get maybe a little bit of seaweed on them, but this dark green shell. And that's how I know it's hardened up. That way it's gonna be a lot easier to open um, than those white brittle shells. And some people, they like those white ones because they're smaller. They haven't been on bottom as long, but the green ones are gonna be a lot easier to open and they're not gonna break on you. Look at the hinge. You wanna make sure it's not curled like an elf shoe. That makes it really hard to open the oyster. You'll come and check out with us at the landing. You bring your basket up. So because of COVID this year, when you approach the truck, it will be a little different. Uh, you'll see a perimeter around the truck. You'll see a table. And we do ask that you don't cross the line of our caution tape. You can put your basket right on the table and then take a step back to one of the cones. We'll take the basket from you and your shellfish license. And we'll look at it just away from you just to make sure that everyone's safe. If you bought your license this year, that's what we're accepting. And there's tons of people down there oystering this time of year. So definitely help each other out. But we do ask that you maintain social distancing, even when you're outside in the water. Um, and we do ask that you wear masks when you approach the vehicle. And I hope to see you down at the landing.